Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something different, and this is going to be an overview with Apex Background in the back, this because we are going to be talking about Season 2, which is supposed to be coming, or being showcased, at E3 on July, June, let's get that right, June 8th. That's 10 o'clock in the morning for those on the East Coast, I think it's 1 o'clock for everybody else. But, 10 o'clock East Coast, uh, EA is going to be doing their EA Play, where they're going to be dropping... Uh, the Season 2 detail. But I'm here to tell you what we already know about Season 2. And it's going to be starting off with a special uh, event that's coming June 4th called the Legendary Hunt. This is going to have two new skins and a weapon skin. The two skins are for Bloodline, Bloodhound, and Wraith. Um, Wraith looks like she's covered in bone, kind of looking like the Witch Doctor. And Bloodhound's pretty much still just kind of gold. It looks pretty much like the base uh, Bloodhound skin, but she's just covered in gold. Uh, the R301 skin is... Kind of looks like the one we already have. I mean, it's kind of red and green. Yeah. Uh, it's starting June. Like I said, June 4th. And we're not quite sure how far it's going to run. I'm probably going to say it'll probably run to... Um, Probably when the update comes. But beyond that, let's get into Season 2. Um, one of the big things that we all complained about was what the cosmetics were. Because to earn stuff, you know, we had to unlock it, which wasn't bad. But what we got was absolute garbage. Let's 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 put it to you that way. Very rarely did we get... Um, very much we got those Apex, not the Apex ones, the uh, Battle ones or the Red ones things you get from winning them. Let's face it, those actually suck because how rarely are we using any of those to get anything? Not very often. But, they're dropping those when well, they're not going to be dropping those. They're instead, they are dropping the voice lines. Those are getting dropped. And, um, uh, battle trackers and badges. Those are also being dropped. I believe. Yeah. We're dropping those and increasing the crafting materials because they want us to be able to craft more legendary materials. And speaking of the legendary materials, or like the cosmetics and whatnot, every 25 levels, starting in level 1, means as soon as you start the game or like get your first level of the battle pass, you get a legendary item. So you'll get one at level, two, at level 1, 25, 50, 75, and 100, so on and so forth. Um, everyone's also getting a seasonal badge that just evolves through the thing. So that way, instead of it just, you know, getting 50 or 100 taking up spots, or changing that in the voice lines to get crafting materials, because they want us to get more stuff better. They're also saying that to get through the stuff, because um, they're adding daily and weekly challenges that even say you miss a day or you stop playing for a couple days because for whatever reason, they stick around. They don't finish up until you get them. They're supposed to make it, um, supposed to add more variation from game to game. Um, so that way we can earn more stuff better. They say that it's supposed to be reduced. The time to get to level 100 in the battle pass is supposed to be reduced. How much is going to be reduced? I really don't know. Hopefully a lot. Because I think I'm right now, just now, getting to level 57. I've played it pretty religiously. If you watch the channel, you see. Though if you know, there's been a couple of Sea of Thieves videos. That doesn't mean I'm playing on the other But... That also being um, issued out in the Battle Pass, there's also talks of, well, let's actually do some roadmap. We'll use roadmap to take the fight list. Um, season 1 of the Battle Pass, you know what we got. We got a legend, a new weapon, and some skins. Um, season 2, which is coming out, literally has, just says in a big font, new legends. Season 3 which is coming out September, sometime September, and it has giant weapons on it. And Season 4, which is coming in December, has new loot. Each one has a different picture, which I'm going to say each season is going to be dedicated to something else. Does that mean we're not going to get a new weapon in Season 2? I don't know, because it has like little four icons that says what it's going to include. There's 11, there's a legend on each one, weapons, loot bins, and apparently skins and cosmetics. I believe is what those show. Yeah. So they're all going to come with them. I'm going to guess that Season 3 is going to be more dedicated to adding weapons than actually adding a legend. But we're still going to get it. 
So I'm guessing that's going to be, season three is going to be the big weapon one. Uh, this one's going to be a legend with things mixed in. And then season four is going to be adding new loot. That's probably going to be healing items or probably some more grenades. Stuff like that. I'm probably going to say. Um, but what else is coming with the season pass, or at least what we know is coming during the season pass. I think that's actually about it. Um, let's talk about Watson. Some things that haven't been quite confirmed, but have been rumored. Um, let's start with Watson. He's the legend that was data mined with Octane that hasn't seen the light of day. As of yet. Now, I'm thinking Watson's kind of sounding, you know, like he's going to be able to kind of like, you know, go at home with Watson, or he's going to be, the reason he's called Watson is because Watson is going to be kind of like caustic, and he's going to drop, um, kind of like Tesla coils down electrically. That, or he's going to be a different version of Bloodhound and be able to reveal stuff like, I guess maybe predict certain things. I don't know. Um... Like I said, there really wasn't a whole lot mentioned into this. Uh, a bunch, they're dropping a bunch of stuff so that way they can, so they can free up um, reward slots. That way we can craft more legendary stuff. So that way we're not wasting so much money on this, which actually is kind of good. It makes it easier to craft stuff. So that way we're not shelling out money after money. Kind of sounds different from EA, but it's not bad. Um, we got that special event, which is I think is kind of cool where they're doing a special event. Um, it hasn't quite said what it's going to take. To get the cosmetics that are coming with it but I'm more hopefully hoping for weapons wise is what I'm hoping for because I'm playing Titanfall 2 here recently and I can't quite wrap my head around why they didn't take more of the weapons from Titanfall and put them in the Apex than what they did they pretty much took most of the weapons that are already in their uh, multiplayer online which if you play Titanfall 2 in the multiplayer a lot of weapons that are in the story didn't make it in the multiplayer I don't know why, but they also didn't make it as Apex. That's why that is. I don't know. So as far as what we're going to see, I don't know. I'm probably going to say that a lot of the weapons we're going to see added are probably going to come from Titanfall, but maybe they'll add some new stuff. I don't know. Nothing's been confirmed. Um, another thing is a map change. Um, some people on Reddit were talking, like a dev or a spokesperson was talking with them, and they got a quote out of him or her that said, you didn't expect... Uh, King's Canyon stay like it was forever, did you? And that was as far as he went. That and everybody else said that's a map change. Whether or not it's coming in Season 2, we're going to have to wait a week and find out. But it'd be kind of nice because, let's face it, the canyon's pretty damn open. And snipers aren't actually that effective. So, I mean, the canyon needs help. I think it needs more dense foliage, some more places to hide to get some more building to building. Like Cascades is fun, the... It just is more places to hide, like, get more tactical with it. Because 90% of the map, which most of the kills, I'd probably say, is either in Skulltown or on top of Bridge Valley. Because everybody, for whatever reason, finds a way to Bridge Valley. And it's a shit show from there. But that pretty much sums up the, uh, what's coming in the season pass. Or what we know so far is coming out. Which, it sounds pretty good, but as far as all the cosmetics and stuff, what a battle pass is going to come with... We're going to see if it's actually worth some. If the skins are cool, what they do to the weapons, you know, change them up, make them look cool. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see what drops. But, for anyways, hopefully you guys like this video, or at least this style. This is my first time attempting this, so hopefully I can do more. Hope you guys like it, because I kind of like doing this. So, well, let me know down in the comments. I'll see you on the next one.